What's the, what's the matter, Freddy? I thought that sounded good. Not up here in the booth. All I can hear is the trumpet. Oh. Hey, Shorty, can't you put a mute in that thing? Gee, I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't bring one. Well, put something in there. <laughs> the matter? He muted it. Yeah, I know, but now we're getting a glare off Sammy's head. <laughs> Stuff is sticky. Yeah. Well, at least it'll keep the dandruff off your shoulders. <laughs> Start at letter E, and let's go right to the finish. Just that way on the show. Okay, you fellas can go now. What time's rehearsal tomorrow? 10 o'clock in the morning, but I won't need you right away. Okay. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Yeah. Fine. When you want us, we'll be in the bar across the street. Now, wait a minute. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? I mean, you're going to start drinking that early? We may be finished by then. We're going to start now. <laughs> Hey, fellas, let's get a trim on that arc, huh? Hey, Don. Don. I'm all through here now. Huh? Oh, good. Can we go out on the golf course now? Yes, sir. Oh, and look, Jack. What? Do yourself a favor today and play with a new ball. Well, what's wrong with the ball I've been playing with? It's got so many cuts on it, when it flies through the air, it whistles Yankee Doodle. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way I like it. See, at least I can tell the distance I get. Eight bars is 150 yards. <laughs> Don't go yet. Why not? I call rehearsal early so we could tee off by before lunch. Yeah, but we're all set up to do those public service announcements. Remember, you promised you'd do them. Oh, for heaven's sake. That's right, Dal. I promised to do those announcements, you know, for public service. Look, it'll only take a minute. I'll do it. All right, which, what, what, which one is first? Let's see, we start with the uh, Keep Your City Clean Committee. Huh? Let's see, yeah. Wardrobe, fix Mr. Benny up, please. Camera, let's get down here and find a mark, and I think we'll use a three-inch lens. <laughs> Go out and play golf and everything. Okay. This right? Okay, that's fine, Jack. Ready? Yeah. All right, camera. Action, Jack. Yeah. Hello, I'm Jack Benny, and keeping the city clean isn't just my job. It's everybody's job. And a word to you litter bugs who throw papers, rubbish, and trash on the streets. Someday the smog may lift, and you'll be ashamed of your city. That's fine, Jack. Now, the next one will be for fire prevention. Oh, uh, what fire prevention. Here. It won't take a minute, Don. I'll be all through with this. I promised him I'd, I'd do these things for him. <laughs> This all right? Yeah, that's fine, Jack. Fine. Okay, camera. Action, Jack. I am a fireman. My engine's a beauty. If I come to your house, I hope I'm off duty. So remember the rules. Don't play with matches. And your house will stand straight and not be in atches. <laughs> atches? Jack, that's what they said, and that's what they want. Action? Hey, let me have it. The house shouldn't be an action. <laughs> the way they want it. Action? <laughs> well, if they want action, action. There you go. Is that all now? No, no, there's one more. One more. Uh, only one more, Don. It'll only be a second. Uh, folks, would you step in here for a moment, please? Sure. Would you come in, please? Jack, this is Mr. Clement. He's chairman of the City Safety Committee. How do you do, Mr. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? 
Uh, these are my two assistants, Mrs. Lee and uh, Mrs. Anderson. How do you do? You may remember them for their work with the Beverly Hills Betterment Committee. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. They had the wonderful idea of putting the palms on Palm Drive. I hate to correct you, Mr. Clement, but we didn't put the palms on Palm Drive. You didn't? No. We put the palms on Cannon Drive. <laughs> we put the cannons on Palm Drive. <laughs> You, you knew where to put them. <laughs> well, shall we start? Uh, yes, here is your copy for this year's announcement. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your doing these for us every year, Mr. Benny. And although this isn't a formal presentation, uh, we'd like you to have this plaque for all that you have done for safe driving. Well, I want to thank you. I certainly appreciate this. Mr. Benny, you have no idea how many cars there are on the streets with no brakes, worn-out oh. tires, uh, broken windshields, <laughs> doors that won't close, stripped gears. He doesn't know it, but he just described Jack's car. <laughs> Can I do this now? Uh, okay. Jack, I think you'd better wear your coat. Huh? Yeah, I, th I think it'd look better if I, uh, with a coat on, don't you? Now, if, uh, you there. folks would just wait out there, please. Yes, I'll take those, Jack. Okay. okay. License okay. out. Huh? Yeah. I got okay. the license and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got camera. it right here. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jack Benny saying that when you get into your car, you accept a responsibility, both to yourself and to your fellow motorists. Remember, your driver's license is a privilege to drive. And if you don't abuse it, you'll stay alive. <laughs> very much, Mr. Thank Benny. You. That was very nice. Uh, Jack, you're welcome. Jack, you're welcome. I'm afraid we'll have to do that over. Why? Well, look, you're doing a safety message for motorists. Yeah. When I looked through the camera, I noticed your driver's license has expired. <laughs> Driving with an expired license. Well, I... I didn't know. Give me that plaque. <laughs> we ought to slap your face. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, ladies. Look, at anybody can make a mistake. You, know, you even put the cannons on Palm Drive. <laughs> oh, on, Jack, forget about it. Let's go out and play golf and relax. Okay. Oh, uh, incidentally, Jack, inasmuch as your driver's license is expired, I better do the driving. All right. Now, I'll tell you what. On the way to the course, we'll stop at the Department of... Attention. If you... Are you busy? No. Well, I... I guess you want $3, huh? Oh, two bucks will be all right. <laughs> two dollars? Yeah. Oh, here. Hey, wait a minute. The sign says three dollars. Uh, why would you be satisfied with two? I don't work here. So I'm but... <laughs> You, sir? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I like to have my driver's license uh, renewed. Oh, really? Whatever made you think of this place? <laughs> Look, I, I'm not joking. I mean, this is serious. My driver's license has expired. Well, what would you like us to do? Fly the relatives in from the east? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All I want, I want to get my driver's license renewed. Come with me. Thank you. <laughs> this young lady will help you. Hi. May I help you? Yes, yes. I'd like to have my driver's license renewed. Please. Very well. That will be three dollars, please. <laughs> Does she work here? Yeah, she does. Well, you know, you can't. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. Thank you. Now, if you'll give me your old driver's license, I'll take some information off it. 
Yeah, I have it right here. Thank you. Pretty. <laughs> Name, Jack Denny. Address, 904 Santa Monica. Height, 5 foot 11. Weight, 158. Age. <laughs> My, this has been expired a long time, hasn't it? No, about two months. Only two months. <laughs> Oh, you really worried about it, didn't you? Never mind. Well, now this is the written test. If you'll just take it over to that table and fill it out, and then take it to that gentleman over there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I hate all this messy stuff around you. Hey, look, bud, I don't know about you, but we're trying to keep this city clean. What? It ain't gonna be smoggy forever, you know. Uh, watch it. Let's see. True. True. Hey, mister. Fall. Mister. Fall. Hey, mister. What's the speed limit in the school zone? I'm not allowed to tell you. False. False, true. Are you allowed to pass a car coming up the hill? I told you, I'm not supposed to tell you. True, true. False. False. What's the maximum legal speed limit? 125 miles an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> There we are. I got that now. All set. Wait a minute, what are you doing? I heard you getting your answers from that man. He was so ashamed he even walked away. I wasn't cheating, it was him. Him? Professor Myers, the nuclear physicist at the university, the man who was in charge of the atomic reactor. All right, all right, I did it. What, what do I do now? You go back and get another test paper. Okay. <laughs> Give me another test paper. That will be three dollars. I already paid it. The government already spent it. I'll pay it twice. All right, here's another paper. Places, if I'm so any Jack, time. Jack, for heaven's sakes, what's taking you so long? I'm sorry, I had to get another test paper and do it all over. Why? On account of cheating. You <laughs> ought to be ashamed of yourself. It wasn't me, I wasn't cheating, it was him. Him? Professor Myers, the nuclear scientist? <laughs> ready with you within a minute. I uh, just wait. Say, Professor Myers. <laughs> well, how did I do? 100%. You missed them all. <laughs> I'll try again next week. <laughs> We flunked. I didn't have anything to do with your exam. And I'm surprised that a man like you, a nuclear physicist, couldn't answer any of these questions. You must be a terrible driver. In a car, yes. But if you want to go to the moon, here's my car. <laughs> I was told to bring this over to you. That's right. Well, Jack Benny. Yes. Hey, this is a coincidence. You know, I was born in Waukegan, too. You were? Uh huh. Say, uh, that was quite an honor when the town named a high school after you. Yes, it certainly was. I was quite flattered, I must say. 
You know, I was back there last summer, and I think that statue of you in front of the high school is great. You mean they've got a statue of me now in front of the high school? Oh, you haven't seen it? No. Oh, well, it's a perfect likeness. And when I saw it, your hands were like this. <laughs> my hands on the statue? Like this? Well, why? Why would my hands be like that? Well, there's a clock in your stomach, and it was a quarter to three. <laughs> you mean my hands go around to tell the time? That's right. At 6.30, you look like September morn. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. That's three o'clock. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, I can't wait till New Year's Eve. <laughs> Well, tell me, did I pass? Oh, let's see. Yes, you passed. Thank right, you. You just take that to the gentleman right over there. Okay. Imagine a clock in my stomach. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry I didn't tell him about the bird bath on his head. I, uh, I just passed my written test. Now, what do I do now? Well, first we have to get your thumbprint. Okay. Now, just put your thumb right down here. Good. There you are. Wait a minute. You didn't put any ink on my thumb. With that dirty hand, I didn't have to. <laughs> All right. Now, what do I have to do to get my license? Well, first, we have to take an eye test. Now, close your left eye. Now, close your right eye. Now, what do you see? Nothing. You just passed your first test. You haven't got any cracks in your eyelids. <laughs> Now, look, I'm sorry, it was just a little joke. I didn't come here to laugh. I came here to get my license renewed. Okay, okay. Now we'll test your depth perception. Now look straight ahead and tell me how many fingers have I got? It looks like six to me. You're right. You'd be surprised how many people fail on this one. Now. now, let's see how well you can read the chart. Now, would you read the second line, please? And yeah, that's A-L-X-R-B. You're wrong. That's 13769. <laughs> Funny. One, three, it looks like A-L-X-R-B. Maybe I, I need my glasses. I always use my glasses when I drive. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, of course. Oh. I wear glasses myself. I think I'll put mine on. Now, what I want you to do with that chart, sir. Well, you're right. That is A-L-X-R-B. That's funny. That it looks like one, three, seven, six, nine now. <laughs> We all saw everything the same way. It'd be a mighty dull world, wouldn't it? <laughs> all right, now, please, do, get, what, what do I do now? Can I have my license? No, we have to take your picture now. Okay. Come right this way, sir. Jack, for heaven's sakes. I have to have my picture taken, Don. It'll only take a minute. Right. I'll get the photographer. All right. uh, Eric, Eric, we have a picture for you to do. <laughs> You will do this picture. Ah, good. Good. Set up the camera. <laughs> ah, so you are going to be my little star, huh? Well, let's get one thing straight right now. When I direct the picture, I am the boss. <laughs> Who ate my ice cream? <laughs> What's going on here, anyway? Well, now, we have to get started right away. You, go get things organized. I had to make a lot of changes. I had to make... Uh, hold everything. Stop, stop. Change Wait those... Wait a minute. Players. All this... Just for a picture for a driver's light. Yeah, then, look, 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 change those lights. I'm getting a boom shed on his face. Change the lights. That's better. I'm only getting a, a driver's Start light. the wind machine. Start the a wind machine. Are you crazy? Hey, quiet on the set. With all of this fuss just on account of one lousy little picture? Lousy little picture. With me, there is no such thing as a lousy little picture. Yesterday, I had Kim Novak, the day before Terry Grant. I do pictures for only with the best. Now, come, my little star. We get into the mood. 
You are in the middle of the Sahara oh, Desert. Oh, please, 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 you are in the middle of the desert. It's 140 degrees. You have been lost there for 10 days I'm without a... food. I without grew up a car. Why am I in the desert? You stop and stagger. You stagger. Come on, come on, come on. Stagger, stagger. Okay, I'm staggering. <laughs> you, you can't get to me. You start to panic. You start to panic. Panic, panic, panic. But why? Then that's very good. Then slowly, slowly you sink to your knees. Sink, sink, sink. I'm going to sink to your knees. Very good. I get a performance. Why are you going along with this? Now, when you've been out of pictures as long as I have, you don't pass anything up. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very, very much. Oh, brother, what I went through to get a driver's license. Oh, there you are, Mr. Benny. They Anybody? told me that I'd find you here. Oh, say, now that I have my new driver's license, would you like to, uh, to shoot that public service announcement over again? More than that. We want to make a feature picture with you. A feature picture? Based on safety when people are driving their automobiles. Say, that's a wonderful idea. Uh, what's the name of it? We're calling it... The horn blows. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You got a lot of nerve asking me. Nobody is asking me. Lights, <laughs> roll the cameras. Now, listen to me. You are broken down in the middle of the freeway. You have been there for 10 days without... Oh, I just without... came out of the Sahara Desert. I changed it. I changed it. You are in the middle of the freeway. You get out of your car. The sun is burning down on you and you start to stagger. Come on, stagger. I'm not going to go through. I'm stagger. I'm stagger. I'm stagger. I'm Wait a minute. Quiet. 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 Good night, folks. I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs>